This Things I Do video is my way of responding to questions that my viewers have. This is my brother setting a jug out on one of our catfishing videos. And I've had a number of viewers ask me how I build the jugs that I use to fish for catfish. I've been using these now for several years and they work really well. And in this video, we're going to show you how to build them. One of the main things I like about this jug is its ease of use and its versatility. We can fish water all the way from four or five feet down to 30 feet. In fact, I made one set of jugs that I used to fish down as deep as 50 feet. Setting the depth is just a matter of counting by two as you put the jug in the water. Most catfish jugs are not jugs at all. They're simply floating devices that are used for catching catfish. The jug that I designed is made from a piece of swimming pool noodle with a PVC pipe running through the center of it to keep it stiff and a galvanized wire running through the PVC pipe and we bend it on each end to form hooks around which we wrap the line that we're going to fish with. Once the line is wrapped around the hooks, we pull the fishing hook into the styrofoam and this holds it in place while not in use. On the terminal end, we have a circle hook, a leader, a barrel swivel, and a sinker that slides up and down the line. As you will see later when we're actually building the jug, it's important that the sinker slide up and down the line. It's even more important that the distance between the two loops that we wind the line around is approximately one foot. That's how we control our depth when we're fishing. In this video clip, my brother is counting down in two foot increments and then tying the line off and throwing the jug into the water. Well, let's get right into how we build our catfish jugs. First off, let me tell you that I have moved into the breezeway where my wife keeps her flowers instead of going to the shop where I normally build my jugs because it is brutally cold today and I'm just not in the mood to go out there. The items that you see on the table are the items that you will need to build the jug. Now, there are a couple of other things I will be adding later. Obviously you're going to need a swimming pool noodle if you build the type of jug that I build. And you'll have to have some wire. I use galvanized wire. Tempered aluminum or copper will work just as well. Anything that doesn't rust will work. I use half inch diameter PVC pipe. If the hole is a different size in your noodle, you may have to use a different size pipe. For line weights, I use sinkers that came off of damaged throw nets. They have large holes and they slide up and down the line real easily. If you use those, you need to be careful because some of them are plastic coated. And if they are, you will need to ream those out before you use them. Like anything you build, you'll have to have a set of handy dandy pliers to help you bend the wire. The line that I use is woven nylon. Be sure that if you use nylon line that you do not use the type that is twisted. Most people who run jugs just tie their hook on the same line that's attached to the jug. I don't do that. I prefer to use leader. And the reason is that when I hang up and break off, I don't lose my whole rig. So I use 100 pound test monofilament line. For hooks, I use a number seven, eight or nine circle hooks. 
let me pause a minute to give a little lecture on catfish hooks. Anytime you're fishing for catfish or any other fish with unattended lines like jugs, please use circle hooks. Don't use anything but circle hooks. We don't want to kill the fish that swallow them. And the circle hooks will always end up out in the lip of the fish. This is a straight eye circle hook. I prefer the turn down eye, but for some reason I didn't have any when I made this video. If you use monofilament line like I do, you want to put a swivel between the line and the leader. You guys know what catfish will do to a line that doesn't have a swivel in it. And if you want to put your hook on the line, cut the line and put that swivel in there. If you don't, you're going to have a twisted up mess if you catch a good sized fish on a jug. I use just a cheap barrel swivel on my jugs. If you use galvanized wire on your jugs as I do on mine, you will need a pair of bolt cutters. However, if you use copper wire or tempered aluminum, a good pair of cutting pliers should work just fine. The best thing that I've found for cutting your swimming pool noodles into the proper length is a good sharp fillet knife. Well, let's go ahead now and build a jug. The first thing we have to do is cut our swimming pool noodle to length and we need a minimum of about 14 and a half inches. Mine will run 14 and a half to 16 inches, but we have to have room to bend the hooks that we're going to wrap the line around. Now we will insert the PVC pipe into the hole in the noodle. I would prefer that the PVC pipe extend an eighth to a quarter of an inch longer than the noodle, although this one didn't come out that way. The next step is to cut a length of wire that is approximately six inches longer than the noodle on each end. This will allow adequate room for the bending radius for the hooks that we're going to wrap the line around. Don't worry if the wire is not all that straight because it's going to be inside of the PVC pipe anyway. When you have an equal amount of line extending out each end of the noodle, bend the wire straight down approximately 90 degrees. Now using the pliers, make another 90 degree bend as close as you can to the surface of the noodle running in a lengthwise direction. Next, we will measure and bend the hooks that we're going to wrap the line around. If I'm only making four or five jugs, I use my fingers to bend the wire. But if you make very many, your fingers will get sore, so you might want to use the pliers. After we've made the hook bends, we take the pliers and turn the inside of the hook down and press it until it actually goes into the styrofoam. This prevents the noodle from turning on the PVC pipe. Now, using the pliers again, adjust the outside part of the hook so it is parallel with the inside part of the hook. Now all we have to do is trim off the excess wire and our floating device is finished. All we have to do now is to add the terminal parts to complete the jug.
first we're going to put the line on simply attach the line around the line hook and tie whatever knot you want to use to fasten it in place Now you simply wrap your line around the hooks until you get the amount of line you want on it. Remember you're getting two feet with each revolution. I'm putting 30 feet on this jug. When you cut the line, be sure and burn the ends of the line like you always do when you use nylon line. By the way, you don't have to use nylon line. Use any kind of line you want. Next, we put the sinker on the line and tie the barrel swivel onto the line so the sinker can't fall down onto the leader. Now we tie the leader onto the other end of the barrel swivel. I use approximately 18 inches or so of leader. It doesn't make any difference how much. And I'm using 100 pound test monofilament line. Finally, all that's left to do is to tie on our circle hook. Well, there you have it. Our catfish jug is completed and ready to take to the lake. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you have further questions about the jug and how I use it or how I make it, feel free to fill out the comment section and I will do my best to respond.